If this one thing everybody settles within themselves, we will use this mind to the best of its capabilities. Without a personality, you cannot function in the world. But you don't have to be stuck with one persona. When you consciously wear it, it is there for the function, but you don't become that. There's information everywhere nowadays and you know, everybody is just, just one sick in life away from the information and there's this overwhelming information everywhere. So how to shape up our, our own individual personality and preserve our individuality? Like, is there a balance between adapting to the change time or changing time and saying to yourself, like, how? See, uh, when you say individual personality, See, what uh, the word… the word personality comes from a root word called persona. Persona means a mask that you wear. To perform a certain kind of function, you have to wear a certain mask. Yeah. Now you are a sports person. When you are on the court, you have one kind of mask that is needed. That mask must be aggressive, uh, bringing fear in your opponent <laughs> if necessary, whatever. You need to wear that kind of a mask. You don't wear that mask at home. You don't um, wear that mask with your friend. Th because this mask means you must be able to wear by choice and take it off. In this virus time, everybody is masked, no choice <laughs> A different kind of <laughs> mask <laughs> But uh, that is what personality means. To perform different types of activities, we need to structure ourselves in a certain way. But what happens over a period of time? By the time people are thirty, thirty-five, they've gotten stuck with one mask. They're not able to take it off. Everywhere they are the same way. Now it'll become a painful experience. If you see between a child, anybody, whatever their age today, when they were five, six years of age, if you see their faces were all like this, one big smile, grinning, you can't stop them from grinning. But slowly it becomes so grave and long. Simply because they are stuck with their own personality. One mask they wore and they can't remove it, all the time it's stuck. So we don't have to crystallize our personality. It's very important we keep our personality so flexible. To perform different types of activities, we should be able to put on different kind of masks. Without a mask you cannot work, without a personality you cannot function in the world, that's for sure. Yeah. But you don't have to be stuck with one persona. You can be a different person, as the situation demands, you can be that kind of a person. That is when you will find full expression to yourself, otherwise you will get stuck in a, within a structure that you created. It's a prison that you build and get stuck to it. If somebody imprisons you, that is unfortunate but understandable. But if you imprison yourself, it cannot be anything more stupid than that. But that's what is happening to ninety percent of the humanity most of the time. But, uh... Well, uh, to this uh, answer, I would just ask that, talking about mask, but I feel that it's not just to yourself. I know you want to be happy, you just want to remove your mask, be happy, stay happy, but it also depends on the other person that you talk to or you react to. So I'm sure, you know, that time your, your mask is again on. So what do you do for that? So like, for example, you're talking to a person and you don't like that person and you have to act accordingly to what he say. And you might say like, okay, you know what, that, that is what he said and I have to act in a way that, okay, I need to be nice to him. So how do you react to that? <laughs> See, <laughs> because mask... a lot of times it, it happens, like for everyone, I'm sure. Tell me, tell me, who is that guy first of all? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 no, this sir, is going to be… Genuinely. this is going to be news in the country, huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I meant to say like, you know, with a lot of people, like, you know, when you're talking to a friend, you know, sometimes, you know, you might be angry at them, sometimes you might not like what they do. Like, for mm -hmm. example, your best friend is doing something and, you know, you might not like it, but then you're like, it's okay, you know, never mind. You, you can't say it on their face saying that, you know, I didn't like it, don't do that. They might get offended, is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm usually saying it on their face most of the time <laughs> Because sir, I, I have faced a few times, like, you know, 
you know when you take talking to uh, your friends or other people you you might feel that they are wrong but you hesitate to tell them you know you i sometimes can't tell or you know there are a lot of people who can't tell on their faces see so, uh, sindhu the thing is oh. it is not about uh, people being right and wrong it is just that every human being is acting and living and understanding life according to their understanding and their intelligence not everybody can perceive life and understand life to the same extent if you see people are the way they are because of the limitations that are there you would strive to see how to help them to break their limitations rather than making a judgment they are right wrong good bad all these things there are different types of people everything that everybody does it is not necessary that you must like it or i must like it it's not so but yeah, yeah. there is no need for us we we if you wear a mask to perform a certain function you are still who you are within the mask but right now the problem is the mask six sits so tight on your face you cannot distinguish which is the mask and which is me so when i say a mask or a persona what it means is you consciously wear when you consciously wear it it is there it is there for the function but you don't become that see when i say you don't become that right now uh you are a tall girl i uh, saw uh, on any podium you stand uh, you are like uh, taller than anybody uh, <laughs> so you were not born like this you were born just this much and now you became this much this is just accumulation body is just an accumulation similarly what you call as my mind my thought my emotion are accumulations what we gather belongs to us cannot be us isn't it 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 is not us right now this clothing it it may belong to me but it can't be me similarly the body similarly the structures of the mind if we become conscious of this what is me and what is not me if this one thing everybody settles within themselves if they are conscious of this all these are not a issue we will use this body we will use this mind to the best of its capabilities and that's all especially for you as a sports person using your body and mind to the best of its capabilities all that matters in the end so right now you yourself would have noticed as every human being would have noticed in their day to day activity because you are a sports person i am saying for you because the consequence of you not functioning at your best is immediately right there for others if they don't do something well today it may take 2 years before the results come to them for you it is immediate there is a bad shot right there if you don't function well at that moment so because of that it is far more easier for you to notice this that how many times in your life your own thought your own emotion your own ideas and opinions become a barrier to your function so in the world there are many many challenges right now we are in a very challenging time all right but you yourself your own faculties your own thought your own emotion your own uh, functioning of your body should not become an impediment in your life that is the most important thing every human being should do what the world will allow us to do or not we don't know it depends on the times we are in see today because you are in 21st 21st century you are wielding a a racket but uh, probably if you were here a thousand years ago you would be wielding a sword or something else you know i am saying it is the times which is allowing us to do what we are doing so at this time as there are possibilities there are challenges in this if a individual human being you know is here without making our body our thought our emotion our energies be a challenge by itself if you just remove this one challenge in your life you will perform to your best your best will be the best in the world we don't know that's that is subject to various realities but the important thing is whether i am the best in the world or not is not important to your best you are always on you are never a barrier to yourself other barriers in the world we will have to cross